Ben Sean, who was a representative of one of the uh, social realist uh, of, of the social realist movement of the 1930s and 40s, uh, who's perhaps one of the most recognizable artists of that period. Ben Sean was uh, a promoter of the rights of workers, of immigrants, of the underprivileged, of the disenfranchised. Uh, he fought against injustice. Uh, and he also called out the authoritarian tendencies uh, of his era. Fue un artista muy comprometido que desarrolla su arte a través de fuentes documentales, fotografías que él toma, pero también fuentes que él que él toma de, de los periódicos, de, de las revistas. Entonces realiza este tipo de figuración que es una figuración social, lo que él llama realismo personal que tiene que ver con las, uh, con las causas que él defendió a lo largo de toda su trayectoria. Él empieza a trabajar en los años 30 en la Farm Administration Resettlement, que es una, digamos, es una iniciativa del, del gobierno norteamericano para combatir eh, la, los años de la crisis, los años de la devastación. Entonces marcha con otros artistas a hacer fotos a, a lo largo de, de, del territorio y empieza a cobrar conciencia de los problemas sociales que tiene en esos momentos eh, Estados Unidos. A partir de las fotos que él toma, realiza toda una serie que tiene que ver con la, con la crisis, con la Gran Depresión, y a continuación se enrola o forma parte de distintas a, digamos, iniciativas del gobierno. Empieza a desarrollar a, una obra más gráfica que tiene que ver con los murales, con los carteles, con distintas formas de, de expresión. Nunca abandona la figuración. De hecho, para él, la forma es el contenido. Sean representa una kind of figurative realism of the first half of the 20th century that was challenged by the rise of abstract expressionism and non-objective art forms in the post-war period. But artists like Sean continue to paint, continue to be relevant, continue to be popular, and also continue to evolve and change. So I think he resented the, the strict division between abstraction and figuration, and he believed that, that art was a combination of both. He really was a Renaissance man in many ways, and he embraced multi, multiple media to convey his messages, especially media that could reach a broad audience. So we had the challenge of really filling these spaces and telling a story. Um, we also wanted to tell a thematic story. We didn't want this to be a simple or conventional chronology. We wanted it to be a thematic. Uh, approach so that we would focus on the themes that were the most important to Sean. I would say one of the most important things for Sean as a, a public artist, you know, he really saw himself as someone who spoke to the public, wanted to speak to broad publics, so government support of the arts was absolutely critical for him. And so when the Franklin Roosevelt administration started the Works Progress Administration and um, other federal art projects in the 1930s to help artists during the Great Depression and the economic crisis, he was right on board. He loved the opportunities that the government projects gave to artists to speak to broad audiences and to speak to issues that were important to people at the time, um, getting through the depression, being put back to work. I think his uh, support for the underdog and his fight against um, discrimination, intolerance, uh, are very much needed in our current political and social movement. And, uh, and I think his work still has a, a currency uh, today.